DB Navigator. Okay, just to add some fields of the other CD table on the form, easy way to do it, you can right click, go to fields editor, then right click again, add all fields, then select all your fields, then drag it to your form. Okay. Now I'm going to link my DB Navigator to my data source, the data source of the CD. So now my DB Navigator is linked to my Edu table. Okay, so a DB, Na DB Navigator is used um, not only just to navigate through your table, like this is next previous, uh, first, it's last, it's an insert record and you can insert a new record into the table, there's a delete, there's an edit, there's a post, you change something, you, may, you can post it, basically save it, there's a cancel edit, and then there's a refresh button, in case you change something, then you can just refresh it, again. Yeah. Right, so, go last, you can insert a new record. I'm not going to insert a new one now. Another thing of the DB Navigator that you can do, you can maybe remove some of the buttons. Okay, just select your DB Navigator, go to Visible Buttons, then you can uncheck some of them. So let's say you don't want the user to insert anything, or to edit anything, or delete anything. You only want him to be able to navigate through your table. Then you can disable the other buttons and the user will only be able to navigate through all of them.